What's up guys, this is Cody here, and today I'm going to be doing another top 10 tweak video. Now with these tweaks, one thing to keep in mind is that they are all brand new. So these are basically all new tweaks that were just released after iOS 9 has been jailbroken. The second thing you want to keep in mind is these are all free once again. So yes, this is the third free tweak video that I've done since iOS 9 has been jailbroken. So if you guys are enjoying those free tweaks, be sure to smack that like button just to show me that you guys want to see more of these. All right, guys, so let's just get into it. So the first tweak that we have here is called Easy Respring. So really all that this tweak does is allow you to quickly respring your device directly from the app switcher. So if we go ahead and open up the app switcher here, all you have to do in order to respring is swipe up on the springboard, just like that, and it's going to respring your device. So it's always nice to have a quick and easy way to respring your device when you're jailbroken, just because it comes in real handy. Now the next tweak we have here is called COG, which basically just stands for coming or going. So this is going to be a messages tweak. So you can see right here that if we're in our messages app and in our conversations list, you can see that what this does is add a little indicator right there, basically saying is the message either outgoing or is it incoming? So basically, do you need to respond or have you already responded? So that's basically all this tweak does. And you can see that little indicator right there by my picture. So this is gonna be especially helpful if you have your conversation right here hidden, just because you can take a quick glance and see if you need to respond or not. Now another messages tweak that we have here is called mutiny. Now what this does is allow you to easily, from your conversations list, just mute your conversation. So if you're in a group conversation that's just going out of control and they're just blowing up your phone and you don't wanna have anything to do with it, all you have to do is just swipe over on that conversation, mute it, and it's going to mute that. As you can see right there, you can see the little do not disturb indicator. And this is absolutely going to be one I'm gonna be using on my device. Next up, we have a tweak called Reveal Menu. Now what this tweak does is bring that 3D touch quick actions straight from the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus and brings it to older devices. So for instance, if we go ahead and 3D touch onto one of these applications right here, like the camera app, you can see you get these quick action menus. Now this is obviously going to work with several different applications. You can see it works with the messages, the phone, as well as mail right here. Now a cool thing about this is that maybe you didn't even notice just now is I have another tweak installed called Cuttlefish. And what Cuttlefish does is basically take the color of the app icon right here and use that color as the blur in the background when you use quick actions. So for instance, if I use quick actions on the phone app right here, then it should be a more of a green tint blur in the background. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see it has a green tint in the background, which I think looks pretty good. You also notice if we do it on our uh, mail, it should be blue as you can see right there. So it's basically just a subtle change. Now the cool thing about this is that it works with older devices if you use a tweak like reveal menu like I'm showing you right here, or it actually works just natively on the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, so that's pretty cool. Now next up we have a tweak called Spotlight Be Gone. And of course what Spotlight Be Gone does, as you can see right here, normally we have a spotlight when we swipe over to the right, just like that. Now with this tweak, you don't get that spotlight. It completely gets rid of that, and it also gets rid of swiping down, as you can see right there. So you don't have the spotlight uh, by swiping down on the springboard as well. Now the cool thing about this is, is that you can install a tweak called Mobius, which is a staple jailbreak tweak in all my uh, jailbroken devices that basically allows me to go from the first page, which is this page right here, to the last page, as you can see right there. Now, of course, if Spotlight's right there, you're not gonna be able to go back to the last page because Spotlight's gonna populate. But if you get rid of your Spotlight and then you install Mobius, you can go back and forth between the first and last page, which is pretty cool. Next, if we go into our app switcher, we have a tweak called Switcher Flipper. What that does is, as you can see right here, it basically changes the orientation or the direction that your app switcher actually swipes across. So if you want it to go to the left like that, then you can download Switcher Flipper and it's going to do just that. Now another thing you'll notice within the app switcher is another tweak called Switcher Badges. So what this does is basically just put the badges on your app icon, as you can see right there, in your app switcher. So you can see that on my mail as well. Same thing for the Game Center. Now another tweak we have here is called Recently Uninstalled. So you can go into your settings after installing this tweak, and then when you install a Cydia tweak, it's actually going to allow you to see what you've recently uninstalled. So you basically just go in here and you have to make sure that you've enabled this 
before you uninstall the tweak. And then you can just tap on view recently uninstalled. If you tap on that, you can see that I recently uninstalled a tweak called glance and it gives you the date and time right there. Now, if we wanted to, we can clear the recently uninstalled. It'll ask you, are you sure? And now when you go back in here, you can see that it's basically not showing anything recently uninstalled. So that's basically all that this tweak does. And you also have an option uh, to change how long you want it to store those recently uninstalled tweaks. And last but not least, we have a tweak called face down. Now what this tweak does is basically allow you to take your device and put it face down on a table, on your couch, basically anywhere, and it's going to put your device to sleep. And then depending on how long it takes you to pick it back up, it'll actually wake up your device again. So you can see right here, if we go ahead and take it out of the dock right here, and you'll, if you listen, you can hear it uh, go to sleep. So I'll go ahead and put it face down. And then when I pull it back up, you can see that it wakes back up. Again, if I put it down, and it wakes back up. So it's actually pretty cool. I like this tweak. It's gonna definitely save your battery uh, in certain instances. And I always put my, my phone face down almost all the time, except when I'm at work. When I'm doing stuff, just because notifications can be distracting, and it's nice to be able to get away from that for just a minute. Now, if you guys aren't aware, Cydia purchases are live. So you can go into Cydia, you can buy those themes, you can buy new tweaks if you want to. So that's actually allowing me to go and check out brand new Winterboard themes or Anemone themes uh, for you guys. So my question is to you, do you guys wanna see a top theme video? Let me know in the comments below or just by hitting the like button on this video. All right, guys, that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you guys wanna see next in the comments below, and I'll be sure to check out what you guys have to say. Of course, if you want to see more of my videos, then make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.